Hey, Uncle Deke here. Um, got the Phantom FX-61. The first time I tried to fly it, an un unsuccessful toss and plop and broke the motor mount and I couldn't fly it again for another three weeks. Until I figured out how to, I had to order a motor mount and then I had to figure out how to fix it. There's lots of ways on the tube on how to fix it. I tried something different. Okay, I got this metal from like Hobby Lobby or some kind of a craft store and I'm not sure how it's um, I don't know how thick it is. Not very. Pretty thin. That's the whole idea. You can see it's pretty thin right here. So what I did is I cut a two and a half by two and a half inch square out of it. Now it doesn't have to be accurate. And I cut that with some heavy shears. Okay. So then what I did is I cut it around till it's about a half an inch larger than the motor mount. Now, I actually made it kind of egg shaped like this. Okay? And then what I did, I had, I got a new motor mount, and of course I had to cut this, and if you cut this very carefully all the way around and keep working it, the glue will come loose and you can take the motor mount out. Now, the motor mount was shattered. It came out in about five or six pieces, plus the part that was still fastened to the motor. So I took that out, and I cut with an, a box knife, like this. I cut out about that much, all the way around, right here, all the way around, right in here, behind the motor mount. I cut a groove. Just made a slice. Didn't take anything out. Just cut a slice all the way around. Comes down to about here. Goes out to here. Comes to here. And then I, of course, drilled it to where it matches the holes in the motor mount. And then real important to cut this hole bigger so that the metal doesn't chafe the wires to the motor. So right now all there is is plastic right here. There's no metal edge. Okay, so wires go through there real easy. And then what I did is I put it all together with Gorilla Glue and kind of used some uh, uh, modeling pins to hold it down until it's set up. And uh, the, the motor mount's glued in with the Gorilla Glue. The, the metal is glued to the motor mount. The metal is glued to the foam. And basically what it does is strengthen it this way so that you don't break these these are this plastic is very brittle and breaks super easy so all I did was strengthen that metal up and or that plastic up and down and make this whole thing stronger you don't need a lot of thickness and the other thing I wanted to do is I didn't a lot of guys are putting pieces of plywood in here to strengthen it well, that makes your motor stick out farther. And you don't need that with this plane. Actually, you want the, the motor as far forward as you can get because it's extra weight on the back. It's also extra out there where the propeller has more leverage to bend or break when you hit the ground if, it, if the propeller is up and down. Okay. So, I feel that so far this has worked out really well. It doesn't add any thickness, doesn't add any weight, and it should, I mean, it's hundred times stronger than the plastic ever was and on the inside you can see no difference it looks exactly the same on the inside no difference whatsoever now I just got um, oh there's a really only one place to get a motor mount a plastic one on the internet so I don't remember where it was but there's only one place so look it up um, 
The other thing I would do, and on the uh, maiden flight video of this plane, I put a link to the aluminum motor mount that's made. And um, a friend of mine in New York is selling those. And if I, I didn't have that, I didn't have the availability to get that. But if your motor mount breaks, or if you want to do some preventive maintenance, get the metal one if you don't want to do this and put it in. It's the same job as this. It costs like 20 bucks by the time you get it back. This didn't cost but about a dollar. And some Gorilla Glue and some time. If I were going to do something, I would fix this motor mount before I finished the plane, before I ever flew it. Because there's all kinds of war stories on there about how this breaks easy. So that's a little tip on the F X61 motor mount beef up. Hope you liked it. Let me know. Uncle Deke out.